Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode from the Medieval Realm, the Realm of Vastin. My name is Fixit. We're in Port Bray. Some things have changed, but before we get to the stuff that's changed, I got to go and do a little bit of work. So the work is that I'm an idiot. That's that's what has caused the work. And um, yeah, so uh, what do I want to do? I want to probably go to a uh, fisher first. I lost my bow. I'm pretty sure what happened is my boy probably came in here to play and I think most likely he um, pressed the letter Q while he was walking around because we practiced the letter W and S and A and D and I, you know, I have him play Minecraft because uh, he can't play at all. He's like too little, but he can see the reaction. Like if he presses the right letter, then he can see the character move and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I think what happened is he probably pressed the letter Q while he was walking around with my bell. I think that is likely what what happened, and oh, just torches along the side of the road, huh? On the road, I don't love that. It's not very aesthetically pleasing. We should work on that. Okay, so uh, I'm here at the AFK Fisher because I need to replace I need to replace what was lost, and um, I'm pretty sure we probably have a crap ton of bows around here somewhere. Although I've not AFK fished in a really long time, I would think that there are lots of bows. There's a bow with mending. I actually, I don't care about a bow with mending. I care about a bow with infinity. The other thing I don't have is I don't have, uh, there's a power four book. I'll take that. Okay. Um, the other thing I don't have is I don't have my ax anymore. I broke it. I was mining up a bunch of wood for today's episode. Oh, cool. There's another power four. That'll give me power five. That's good. Uh, there's an efficiency four. Um, there's another power four. I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, so I was mining a bunch of, of, of wood for today's episode, and like a just total idiot, I uh, I broke it. I just wasn't paying attention. I just, just that's it. I just wasn't paying attention, and I broke it. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so we have to replace my axe, and we have to replace my bow. Uh, there's another, there's an efficiency four. Yeah, that'll be okay. Cool. Okay, so combine those two once I get, um, do I have sweeping edge on this? Yeah, okay. I don't think that there is a sweeping edge for, let me see what else I can find here. I'm looking for stuff for like any, okay, that's efficiency. I need an unbreaking three. Lots of efficiency, not so many unbreaking though. That is not so great. I know where there possibly is another place that we have books as well um but while we're here i want to grab but i should have brought like a shulker box or something oh man there's so many things i have plans for <laughs> i want to take all a bunch of these saddles to the various horse farms that we have all over the place not farms but horse storage areas and stuff okay let's look here um so let me look at this stuff and i'll meet you in the end whenever we actually do some work okay All right, well, I got some books. I had to go over San Rascu to that mob farm, and I'm pretty sure I got everything I need now. We'll find out here in just a moment. I guess I can always come back. I did set my spawn here in, in Port Bray so that I can always come back if I miss some stuff, but let's head to the end. I mean, that is such a cool way to enter the end. It is so cool. Okay, so, um, oh man, one of the last times we'll probably use this ender ender, I think. Anyway, I think so. I think um, this will all be gone starting in Season 2 at some point. Starting at some point in Season 2. Ooh, maybe there's something really good here. But probably not. <laughs> These are probably not, not great books. I, I don't know why they're here. Power 4, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. I just need to clear out a little bit of space. Okay. So, first thing is first, let's do a bit of crafting. Let's craft a bow. I could not find, we have somewhere, we have all the like bows that you get from, um, from, from just general, uh, I'm going to need ex experience too. We have all the bows that you get just from, you know, um, general AFK fishing. And I don't know where they are. I don't know if maybe they've been just, just tossed or what, but I, I swear we used to have, and usually like a lot of them, you know, you get a lot of fishing bowls, you have a lot of bows and, and like, Maybe they've just been trashed, right? which is fine. I mean, they're easy to get back again, but you should get a lot of bows with mending and all that kind of stuff on it. It seems like I'm mending my gear right now, actually. That's why my experience is slow going. Mm, yeah, 
let's throw some stuff in chest here. I just gotta remember to take it back. And uh, that'll be fine. Get rid of this stuff. Help my stuff charge back a little bit quicker. And what I want to work on today, while I'm while I'm doing this stuff, I want to work on a church. So you know, the only the three religions that we have, we have the uh, the Church of of the End, which is obviously the something that we have talked a lot about. And then we have um, the unnamed Nether Church. And then we have the Church of Man. Well, so I've been thinking about what these churches are going to be. Well. I'm thinking that the Church of Man should value probably knowledge above all. So my idea for the Church of Man is going to be libraries. So instead of be like a real church, we're going to call them um, scribes, maybe something like that. I think that could be really cool. And they're going to value knowledge. So um, maybe we'll have shrines, you know, that's going to be basically libraries, Shri like shrines to the man or shrines to the mind, something like that. But that's not what we're going to work on today. What I want to do today is the Church of the Nether. Now, that's a pretty unpopular church in this area of the world since the zombie pigmen are attacking the overworld. But there are still going to be people who think that they, they should they should win or that, that, that people should submit to them, right? So that's going to be kind of the lore that we go after today. So I want to think about um, what... If you were a worshiper of the nether and of the zombie pigmen and of the blazes and all that kind of stuff, how how would you celebrate? I mean, for one thing, you'd use nether rack, and that's why I have some of that stuff smelted up. All right, that's all good. Well, I may not be done cra done yet crafting some stuff. So let me throw in the bow and see what I get. Flame. One of these has flame. It's just a single. Okay. Oh, I, I should make an axe, actually, too. Let's make... Let's make an axe. And see. Who knows? Maybe I'll get something amazing on it right first try. Fortune 3? You know what? I'll take Fortune 3 on an axe, because that gives you a better chance of saplings, I think. Or possibly... Perhaps I made that up. So, it either gives you a better chance of saplings, or I made that up. There's no lapis here? Dude, I know... Oh, thank goodness. I know that that I put lapis here, which is fine. People use it, but I think it's all gone. Okay. All right. So let's let's do that. I'll take I'll take fortune. Maybe I'll get unbreaking two. Did I? Nope. Just fortune three. Okay. Not a big deal. Let's put in the bow again. Power four. Oh, I'll take that for sure. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I got infinity. That. Oh, man, what a great enchant. I was thinking, crap, I got infinity. I didn't want infinity because you can only do infinity or mending. But no, I wanted infinity, not mending. Yes, awesome. So, wow, tremendous. That's really lucky. Okay, cool. Let me grab some more experience. And I, I can throw some of these other things on these. These I have unbreaking books. I have um, whatever. I have uh, I have other books I can't, that I, I'm com not coming up with the name at the moment. But I'm going to need some levels to do that. Probably it's enough, actually. Let's go see. Okay, anvil. Let's go axe, and how about... Wow, see, I'm not even going to need that stuff. That's awesome. Unbreaking and smite four. That's the one I want. Unbreaking and smite four. That's great. Let's do this. Let's call this one... Uh, how about fixes axe... I'm pretty sure this is the fifth generation of my axe. That's another unbreaking, so I can't do that. Um, I need to get in efficiency four on this. So I could either combine these. What will this give it? This will give it... What is this book? Efficiency four, fortune three, sweeping edge three. You can't get sweeping edge. And I'm not going to... There's no such thing as fortune. So I'm kind of wasting that for just efficiency five, but I think I'm going to have to use it. Do I get sharpness? No, because I already have smite. Okay, that's okay, though. Efficiency four, we'll just do this. And efficiency five. Okay, the axe is done. Cool. Bow, I already have infinity, power four, and punch. I'd like to get power five. Let me see if there's a punch three. There's not. Okay. Um, That's not going to give me anything. That'll give me flame. I wouldn't mind flame, actually. And will this give me power five? It will, but I don't have the XP. Luckily, no problem. 
Luckily, no problem. Okay. So anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna repair this stuff, and then I have already started the the Nether Church. I need to come up with a name. I I kind of had one. Uh, I was thinking about this driving the other day, and I kind of came up with a good name for the Nether religion, but I think I've forgotten it because it's not the Nether religion or Church of the Nether. Because I feel like you know, Church of Man, Church of the Nether, Church, Church of the it's too much. So you got to come up with something different. Uh, but I can't remember what it is. But anyway, so what we're what they're gonna do is they are gonna look into oh uh the uh what's the oh uh, you know what I know what's coming to me what was the the what's the religion in Game of Thrones the Lord of Light right because they look into fire I think that's what it is so I want to get the oh uh, you know what that's gonna give me unbreaking three that doesn't have unbreaking. That's more important than punch five. Let me make sure I can get, see if I can get. Okay, that'll give me power five and unbreak. Wow, that's a heck of a bow, man. Woo, my, that is much better gear than I had before, I think. So what do I got here? And the only thing I don't have is I don't have mending, but luckily I can get that. I can get mending. Um, and I can get it from the Tannis Villager. Should we go do that? I haven't been to Tannis in a little while. Maybe we should. So we'll go to Port Bray. I'm going to grab the emeralds that I have. And I hope I have enough because I need 15 emeralds. Which way is which? This, uh, no, this, this way. Okay. Wow, this place is confusing. Plus, we want to redo all the roads to make it look like this combination because initially I was using stone roads. And, and what sort of occurred to me is in a extreme hills where you have stone everywhere, if the roads are stone too, it just all looks like the same thing. So, um, I do want to make the stone sort of a brownish sort of color, and uh, that'll be good. I'll grab you, Cole, if I can. Uh, yeah, I can. Cole. All right. So, there are some emeralds in here. Um, I don't know if other people farm them up or what, but I, I'm going to take them and then I'll replace them. <laughs> I'll replace them later. I promise I'll replace them. All right. Let's see. Uh, there are 12. Oh, crappy. I need two more emeralds. Crap. Are there emeralds in here? Oh. Okay. Cobblestone. I can put that in there. Dirt? No. More cobblestone. More cobblestone. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is just regular stuff. Oh, I didn't know this was even here. Dirt, mob drops. Oh, good. Okay, I can get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to need to go get... Um, mm, yeah, okay. Whoops. I'm going to need to go get like three more emeralds, I'm pretty sure. So let me go do that. And then... These books. I'll have to put back. Okay, I got some work to do. I will meet you, uh, I'll meet you in Tannis. Okay, we're going to Tannis. Oh, look at that, a little guy. Trying out the new bow, seems to be working just fine. So we're headed to Tannis. Uh, I did not find any more emeralds. I went mining for a good bit. And then when I went to put all the stuff that I just mined back, I found that we had like eight more emeralds. So I just took them, I just took them. Well, I'm gonna go on a mega mining trip later on, maybe, uh, maybe late tonight or something like that. But anyway. Yep, can't fly. Okay, cool. Heading to Tans. Oh, there's a new building. That's new. I'll show it off once it gets more done. That's the new um, Vela Raven, or I do not know a name. I think I'm going to go with Raven. Uh, and this is going to be the new road. So before we go any further... This is the season two road. So if you're checking this out on a world download, this is the way to Tannis. This is the way to where season two is going to be. But here's the thing. Last night I was on very late, very, very late talking to Monk and just discussing what, you know, what we're going to do season two and seven, where season two is going to be. And I just kept looking at it, looking at it and hemming and hawing. And, and I, I finally came to a conclusion that is going to be an extreme level of difficulty for building, but it's going to be um, much better long haul. And that is that we're going to move where season two was going to take place from northeast to very far west. Like uh, nearly, probably if you include both going west and then going north, probably over 20,000 blocks. And that's where I want season two. And the reason is there's a big snow biome there. There is a jungle biome there. There's um, uh, lots of ocean, which we won't explore. But that way for upcoming uh, season 
3 stuff, you know, once the update Aquatic comes out and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I think that it's I think it's the best for the future that we do that. Oh, jeez. That's not not a great start. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> um and anyway, so yeah, so I started the road. It's going to be a, a, about a 20,000 long block road. So um, it's going to be the road. Well, I don't know what we'll call it, but but yeah. And, and you know, not only, like all the other roads in this realm, not only do we have to have a road, but uh, we got to have interesting stuff along the road. I do have ender pearls. I should have just used that. In fact, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's do that. I don't mind giving up some ender pearls because, because man, um, because <laughs> last time I was here, I got blown up by a creeper. Let's go right along through here. Yeah. It's because, um, yeah, you, you need ender pearls if you don't have an elytra to get down here safely. So, yeah. All right. Heading. Oh, man, I got to move this stuff. Oh, you know what? I want to take this. And I probably can't break it yet. So I'm going to do a little um, uh, survival. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I don't have any more netherrack, do I? Oh, there is netherrack. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's do a little edit here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, just ender pearled right into that. Okay, that's good. Better. In fact, I'd like to take all this stuff, but there's no way I have room. Oh, yeah. I sure don't have room. Uh, that's okay. Oh, I really wouldn't mind taking this, too, since we're done building. Which one is uh, which? That's fortune. That's... Yeah, I'm going to take the ender chest, too. We're done building here. I don't mind picking it up. The rest of this stuff, unfortunately, is going to have to um, just stay here for now. Well, well, I'll move it later. And let's go. You go through the lava into this little lush cave. This is to get to the Mending Villager. This is the Haunted Cabin of Tannis, which, if you haven't seen it, I think is pretty cool. And uh, normally you'd be, when you go to Tannis, if you don't have special magical powers like me, you'd normally be in adventure mode, so you can't break blocks. Uh, but yeah, and, and, uh, this is what you do. So you come out here, there's a little path, we're in a cave, but there's like a, a cabin, check it out. I think this is so cool. I need to put a pressure plate there. That way when you walk in, the door closes. Cool. All right. Check in this chest. Nothing, nothing. Let's go out. Oh, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. I know. I, you've probably seen this before, I'm sure, but I just think it's so cool. It's so fun. Just a door in the middle of the void. <laughs> that maybe could have been a little bit more interesting. I would have liked to have done an arch in some way, but I couldn't really figure out how to do it. And, uh... I think this area is pretty cool. Uh, so so one thing I did up here is I, I broke holes, so it looks so you can still tell that you're still in a void. Uh, I thought that was really cool. But let's check out the Mending Villager. There you are. Earl Tannis, 15? Sure. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, how do you leave? There we go. Okay, cool. And I, I'm pretty sure I left an anvil over here. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. If I did, I'll just use it. But I did. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's put this on. Mending on my axe, right? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay, awesome. So well, I got I got my stupidity resolved, so that's good. And now I have a, a pretty nice axe. Pretty happy with. And let's go out. Um, every door takes you out a different place. I'm trying to. One of them actually takes you down to the town of Tannis. Uh, one thing I want to do is underneath here. I want to do something kind of cool. And I don't know what, so I just left it the way it is. But I, I want to do something down in there that is that is uh, kind of unique. I don't know what exactly yet. So maybe eventually one day we'll do something. Ah, no, wrong one. Okay, how do you leave? I'm thinking it must be this way. <laughs> Man, I get so lost in my own town. Oh, yeah, you know what? Now that... Well, the chance isn't done, actually. It's not done. There's a, all, a lot of rooms like like this one. I, I want to have something cool in there. In fact, let me just show you something. Um, game mode uh, well, three. Yeah, that's what. I want to show you how many rooms we have yet to do. Because you can kind of see. Look at all these empty spaces. Um, that's kind of a jungle one. That's a snow one, but then look, all these are empty. We could just do rooms in all these different areas. Um, yeah, I mean, we can be super creative, I think. There, just need to 
just need to, you know, find time to do it, you know, at some point here. But, um, yeah, and so I'm going to leave all these chests up for right now. What I should do is I should put these in a room so it's not so obvious how you get out of here. But this is how you get out. And, um, cool. We're back. We're back home. That horrible tree. That is terrible. All right. So, what are we doing today? We're building a church. I don't... Uh, know even how long we've already gone. I may have already eclipsed the end of this episode. So let me do some traveling. I'm going to travel back. I'm going to take the ship back to Port Bray and get to the church and then we'll talk there. But Fix, you forgot the nether brick that you told that you said don't let you forget here in the portal. Ugh, idiot. Anyway, is there anything else that I wanted to take here? No, not really. Okay. Moving back. I'll see you at the, at the new church. So here's how I want to uh, differentiate the church of the nether or the, uh, I got to come up with something. Uh, the, these churches, the, the churches of the, uh, worshiper of the light or something. I, I don't know. Someone help me. Someone help me. Anyway, um, is that I, I want to keep them open air. I think that making them open air would actually add a lot to them. Um, and would really make them different than what we currently already have. And here's where I'm thinking about doing it. So this is what I have so far. This took a good, a good chunk of building and th that's, um, and I don't really like it is the problem. So I wanted to bring you in before I do any more. So I, I wanted to make kind of an octagon, but what happened is it was an octagon. And then as I brought the diagonals in, it kind of lost its octagon shape. And um, so I need to basically, I, I want to do some edits here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in the middle, dead center. We're going to put a big fire. Uh, and then on the outside, we're going to put some walls to sort of protect these guys. Because remember, these guys are hated. And one of the things that we do in the realm here is everything is steeped in lore. And everything has sort of a reason or, or, or you know, purpose. We don't just build something because it looks cool. So um, there would be a wall be behind it, you know, around this church. Because they would want to protect themselves from the people who hate them. And maybe, maybe even what we would do is maybe some underground entrances. Maybe something like that. Something to like... Um, where if you were a worshiper of the nether, you might not want your neighbors to know that you are. That's sort of my thinking, right? So I'm going to take all these, all these guys down. And, um, I got the nether brick because I want the nether brick to be on mostly on the outside and, and as an accent. And I think on the inside, I want to use materials that they have available to them. So in this church, it would be mostly stone and spruce in say a church in the upcoming lake town it would be all different woods that kind of stuff but then use nether brick um as maybe accents around the walls or maybe part of the of the fire uh pillar things like that and i have kind of an idea for a flag that that is going to be kind of cool but this stuff i need to do better i need to do better i don't i i like the idea of this being kind of a pit where the fire is but I think that maybe this whole thing needs to come down by one and be one deeper. So if I basically took a, took a whole layer off of this, something like this, um, and then I peeled back this one two layers, like basically to the wall, I kind of feel like that's going to be better. Let me see how that just feels. Um... Yeah, it's only going to be two layers then instead of where I think I had three before. But I do think that it'll be... It just, I don't know. I felt like it was a little a little small feeling, and I think that this is going to feel a lot bigger. So, um... You know, the other thing I might want to do is maybe rethink sort of exactly how I have these sort of diagonals. But uh, I'm going to have to take this all down first. So let me do this. Uh, a whole bunch of building here. I'll, I'll, clearly, after all the fiasco of replacing my tools, we're not going to get um, <laughs> we're gonna get all, all that much done today uh, as, as far as the build goes. But at least, you know, you can see the process. We can talk lore and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'll do a little bit of this stuff and then I'll come back and sort of talk about uh, improved design, perhaps. Okay. All right. 
All right, so I, I got that mostly done here, and I'm looking at a couple design, sort of design choices, design elements that I can go with, and I'm noticing that there is a little bit of a problem. So what I want is I want this little L shape, and the reason for that is because then whenever I put in these stairs, because these are supposed to be seats, then you can get this, which is what I want. I want that to show just like that, because this is going to be like an, an exit. Um... This should be here, and that gives four blocks in the middle, which is a good number for a good walkway. That's that's good. This one is not good. So, something's wrong, and I, I, I'm not really sure what it is. So, uh, maybe, maybe this is just supposed to be back like this? Could that be? Hold on, let me go look. What's over here? Oh, maybe that's it. Okay, hold on. So this is going to come out, it's going to be like one, two, and then one, two, and then four across. Is that what happened? Possibly that was it. Okay. Yeah. So that means this is just going to go like that. This would then be all diagonal. Okay. 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 Everything's cool. <laughs> Everything's fine. So what I'm going to do now is just put in these seats because I want to take a look and see how this feels. I, I think it's going to be, oh, I think it's going to be better. I think. Because more of a walkway. In fact, we could even do maybe a fence here. Because then there'd still be enough room for a walkway. But maybe not. Maybe not a fence. I I think they would probably want a good, like, sort of unobstructed view of the fire. Because that's sort of, uh, you know, what they're doing here. They're coming to the fire to sort of meditate. So I'm thinking to differentiate these religions. Where there is sort of a preacher figure in the Church of the End. I don't... Here, maybe there's not. Maybe here, they wouldn't have a preacher. They would just sort of each on their own come to sort of meditate and look at the fire um, and sort of, you know, I don't know, pray to the, the, the blazes or something. I, something something along those lines I think could be kind of a, a cool way. So that mean, what that means is, for, from a building perspective, it means it's nighttime. I got to go to sleep. I don't think I have a bed here. Ender pearl. Look at that beautiful sky. Man, is that nice. Where? Man, sometimes when I enter, bro, I just have, I have like no idea where, where I, oh, over here, where I am. Anyway, so that would be, I think, maybe a nice way uh, to sort of make something a little bit different from the interior side, which, you know, ironically, the interior isn't really going to be an interior. It's going to be open air. But I do think that this is maybe a good place to start. What do you think there? Yeah? I feel like that's going to be it. Um, no, I'm in the jail. How did I not make it? Man, really? Wow. And it is... It's over there. Okay. All right. Anyway, this is, seems like a good place to start. Um, so I have these. I'll work out... I'll work out sort of, um... Maybe, I don't know what we want to do here with the bottom row. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we want to go in here. Something kind of interesting, may, perhaps, maybe, or not. I do think that I did that on all the others, but not here yet. So I don't know. I don't know. We got some got some sort of work to, to figure out here. Probably stairs and says slabs here, as they would be some dude walking, probably. Or if you want to get close to the, the fire, maybe you can do that. Or I don't know. But anyway, regardless of, of all that stuff, I think we are to basically the end of today. Um, I spent most of the time I know repairing like tools and all that kind of stuff, but you know, it's uh, it's part of the it's part of the survival game is is when you do something idiotic, you generally have to replace your own tools. Anyway, so we got that stuff done. Fix this. I don't know if this is staying forever, but at least it'll be fixed. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So. Um, let me get a decent view since we didn't actually even work on this at all. But uh, something anyway, uh, that'll be that'll be just fine. Okay, I will see you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit me on my Discord for some ideas and some suggestions, some pictures. That is always really helpful. Also, you can uh, find out whenever I'm doing live streams and all that kind of stuff. And join me. Have some fun. All right. Bye, everyone.